What's going on guys, Isaac Bailey here with a $900 gaming PC build. For the processor, I went with the AMD Ryzen 5 1600X 3.6 GHz 6 core processor. It has a max turbo frequency of 4 GHz 6 cores. 95 watt TDP does not include CPU cooler and no integrated graphics. Great CPU, gaming, live streaming, whatever you want. It has six cores. Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast, but whatever. I did do a like $800 PC build, and this is kind of the same, but it has upgraded CPU and all that stuff, so whatever. For the CPU, I want, I'm in the CPU cooler, I want the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. CPU cooler, arguably one of the best CPU coolers ever to grace the market. <coughs> this is one that I have calling my FX8350, but great CPU cooler for only 30 bucks, 25 bucks, whatever you get it for. For the motherboard, I want the ASRock B350 Pro 4 ATX AM4 motherboard. Kind of a black and white one that really doesn't make a difference what color it is. Has four DDR4 memory slots up to DDR4 2666. 64 gigabytes of RAM supported, RAID support, no SLI or Crossfire, but oh well. Six six gigabit per second ports and onboard USB 3 headers. For the RAM, I went with the Crucial Ballistic Sport LT, 8GB, 2 4GB sticks running at DDR4, 2400 memory. Great piece of memory. It has two pieces, you could just go with one if you really wanted to. Or up to 16 or 32 or even 64 if you wanted to. It really honestly doesn't matter. It's just RAM. But that was one of the cheaper kits at the time, and you could down downgrade this to like one stick but whatever you go with this will be better for storage on for the ssd i went with the kingston a400 120 gigabyte two and a half inch solid state drive 120 gigabyte capacity something to put your sos on and good games to put on there for the hard drive, I want the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1 terabyte, 3.5 inch, 7200 RPM internal hard drive. Something to put all your excess games on, media, whatever. Downloaded movies, like GTA 5 or something like that, because that's like 80 gigs whenever you actually play the game. But 1 terabyte, you could have put to 2 or 3 terabytes if you really wanted to. For 20 to 30 40 dollars more depending on what drive you get but for the video card I went with the GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabyte EVGA super super clock edition you could go for an RX 580 if you want to honestly doesn't matter just whatever's cheap at the time because they're both basically the same this one has 6 gigabytes of DDR5 a core clock of 1.61 gigahertz and a boost clock of 1.83 gigahertz. Has a TDP of 150 watts. No SLI support. Supports G-Sync. Has one dual link DVI, three display port, and one HDMI port. Good graphics card for 1080p or some 1440p gaming on depending on what games you play. You can pretty much play any game maxed out at 1080p no worries there for the case I went with the fractal design focus G black ATX mid tower case I don't know I just saw this case and liked it so I figured I might as well go with it it's kind of got the vibe of like a Corsair 76 or 760T or something like that but it actually looks pretty cool it's got two white fans at the front and it doesn't have an exhaust fan, but if you really wanted an exhaust, you could just switch one of the fans. It has two five and a quarter inch bays, one two and a half inch internal bay, and two three and a half inch internal hard drive bays. Supports ATX, Micro ATX, and Mini ITX motherboards, and has 
front panel and USB 3 ports. It supports graphics cards up to up to 15 inches. But our graphics card didn't anywhere near that. In this case, I'm going for 50 bucks on NCIX right now, so it actually looks pretty good. For the power supply, you could get a more like wattage one, but this one will suit you fine. It honestly doesn't matter. Could get like a 500 or 600 or a modular one if you want to. But the power supply I went with is a Corsair CXM 450 watt 80 volt bronze certified semi modular ATX power supply. 450 watts, all you need this build only uses 360. 80 plus bronze, as long as it's 80 plus. This is semi modular, you could go with a fully modular one if you want to, but this one should shoot, should shoot your needs whatever you need and anyway like subscribe check out some more videos and see ya